Hello creative, so this is a short video. Uh, this is Miss Mun. I just wanted to show you how in your dashboard you can find your art course. So if you go to your this yellow thing on the side, um, the yellow bar, you see um, it says dashboard. So if you click on that, it'll take you to a dashboard where you have these little, these little squares that are your courses. Um, so if you're a teacher up here, so in this dashboard you should see your class. So you should see um, if you're grade one, Ms. Fagerson, so that's your course. Um, the other thing you'll see is if you have assignments, you'll see on the to-do on the right, you'll see your assignment for the week. Um, you'll also see it there and coming up, and if you've gotten feedback um, from me. So let's go into your course. Um, you click on the course, um, then it'll take you to the welcome page and I'm gonna show you really quick the student view, what it looks like as a student. So if you click on the welcome page, and then you can um, watch the video if you'd like. It's just a short welcome video. I say, hello, this is me. Um, I'm excited to get to know you. If you go down and you press the learn button, this green button with the rocket ship, that'll take you to your modules where you'll have your assignments. So the, what you had in the to-do list, the assignments should be here too. Um, so if you click week one art assignment, it'll take you to the assignment for this week. And so I have the instructions up here, um, and the Nearpod lesson should be right in here. So you can just take your Nearpod lesson just following along right in here, or you can join, um, you can join using the code. You can go to join.nearpod.com and type in the code MYLDH, and it'll say specifically for every, every lesson will be different. So if you want, you just test, and I put test student, so I put join lesson, and then you just follow along in the Nearpod. So the play button's down here, that'll play if, uh, if it's my voice. Hello creatives, welcome to art. My name is Ms. Munn and I'll be your art teacher this year at High Point Elementary. So you just follow along, you press the blue arrows. If you have a slide like this, then on the side you just click down and here's just a picture of me and a little bit about myself. And, um, and then when you're finished with that, so I wanna know something about you. So you press the next, the blue arrow. Um, here's another video. So you just press play. When you see a play button, um, you see you can press play when you see a play button down there. And then you just keep going and if there's a quiz or a poll or a question, you just answer the question. Um, so I ask you what's your favorite type of art in this one. Please make sure you select an answer. So I'm gonna put clay and press submit. Um, and then there's another poll, so I'm gonna answer that too. Um, what materials do you have at home? You can pick, sometimes you can pick more than one. Um, I can say select more than one answer, so I'm just gonna say for right now, pencils and paper. I'm gonna press submit, and then I'm gonna keep going. So you wanna go through the whole slide, press the play button, watch the video. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't want, I know you can do it at your own pace. Um, the next arrow, you just keep going. There's another video, a short video to watch. It's only 43 seconds. You can see it. They're not very long down here. Um, here's another slide so you can, just the SOAR expectations, just as a friendly reminder. Here's if we're online and we're chatting. Um, here's just the noise level volumes. So you just go through. I talk about a few things in the art room. For those of you who aren't in art class, just so you can feel like you're part of the art room even if you're at home and hopefully when you come back then it'll be familiar to you um, and this last part is a please draw something so if you ever see this then that just means um, you can draw a picture you can this is the little pencil tool um, if you don't like it you can just undo it there's also an eraser button so let's try the marker you can change how thick or thin it is um, you can do green um, let's see, I do green, and then maybe I want to erase it. So you just press the eraser tool. You make it bigger or smaller. I want it really big because I don't, I don't want it. I'm not patient, so I just want it to erase. But if that doesn't work, you can also press, you can also do the undo button. So that's pretty much it for this drawing tool. It's pretty simple. You can put in a picture here. Um, if that, if, that, if that works for the answer for your question, you can look and search, browse a picture from your computer. Um, and that's pretty much it. So when you're done, you press submit, 
and then there might be one more conclusion video to watch and then that's pretty much it so that's it um, and I'll be around if you have questions to help um, thank you so much